Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Rainy Day Reactions with Chris and Nia. Today we're going to be reacting to Better Call Saul Season 3, Episode 2, called Witness. Mm -hmm. um, but first. Yes, what happened last time? The tracker. Mike was following, well he started to follow the tracker, so now we got to see where they take him. And who it is. I really did not yeah, recognize right? the person. Yeah, me either. But I wonder what Mike's up to. It was a very interesting episode. They really stretched out his scenes. Right? The whole It was time. a slow episode. For a season opener, it was extremely slow, but it was still, like, really, like, interesting. Yeah. I love how they showed us what Mike was doing. And they didn't mislead us, but they, they cut it in ways where we were still like, wait, so what exactly is he doing? <laughs> um, and in the end, we're like, damn, Mike. He, he was pretty thorough. He did it so... He went to he went through all of that trouble to like figure out how it worked out and see mm -hmm. how he can work it to his advantage. Yeah, that was really cool. And as far as Jimmy, mm -hmm. what happened with Jimmy? Uh, we have Chuck, who I think he sh he purposely tried to have um, Ernie. Yes, Ernie listened to that. Yeah, I thought that too. And Ernie listened to the thing. He probably pressed play before taking out the old batteries. Or, yeah, to like have it play when he right, put them on. Right, when it turned on. Yeah, and now Ernie's going to tell Jimmy to keep Jimmy on his toes. I think I said that in the last episode. Mm -hmm. And I wonder what's going to happen with that. We could be completely wrong about that, but mm -hmm. that's kind of what it's looking like. And Kim looking a little bit stressed. Yeah, and Kim stressed about not messing up. Yeah. Oh, and Havoc, thank you for clarifying that Paige is an in-house attorney. In-house attorney. What did you call her? Secretary? I know. Admin? Well, she was always admin. with him, and I forgot what he said. Yeah. Um, I remembered, <laughs> like, I couldn't remember her title, but when he said secretary, I was like, pretty sure she's, like, more important than that. Yeah. I know. Even when I said, I was like, wait a minute, this doesn't sound right. But, yes. Yeah, so, thank you for clearing that up. Um, I think, I, I really feel like Paige's comments about Chuck are what's really making Kim a little bit nervous about Making errors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, are That's you ready harder. to get started? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, let's go. What's he doing? He's like making sure everything's locked. Probably so Jimmy doesn't get in there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> to retrieve the tape recorder. Mm. Oh. What's that? There was someone in there, did you see? Wait, who's that? Oh, he's got people working with him? Wait, what we saw, was it this guy or something I think else? so. I hate to say it, but I think it might be time to kill the lights. Oh, yes, sir. Of course. I think he knows Jimmy's going to show up. You think? But what is this? Who is this guy? He swapped it out a couple hours ago. Better get moving, Mike. I know. Do you think they're testing him? They need someone with a skill. I think he might be onto something. Oh, he's picking up drops or something. It's <sighs> a nice truck. <laughs> Doing pretty good condition, huh? The windows to that restaurant look familiar. Ha! <laughs> I knew the windows looked familiar. Hi, I'm Francesca Liddy. I'm here for the interview. Oh, Jimmy McGill. Hi, secretary. In Seoul? I mean, in Breaking Bad? Do you ever yell at them? I mean, geezers, right? How can you not? <laughs> no, I would never, no. Nor should you. That was a trick question. Yes, <laughs> with flying colors. Very okay. good. <laughs> okay, well, I just want to be somewhere I can make a difference. No, well, that's us. We're all about making a difference. But she's more than adequate. She worked at the DMV. That's like the fifth circle of hell. She's <laughs> overqualified. I've got a commercial airing in 11 minutes, so the phones are going to be oh, ringing off the hook, and I need help. Um, can we give her a test run, please? I got a good feeling about this. Would you like to come in for a consultation? Say, is that a dog I'm hearing? 
Well, he's helps to mention Cracker Barrel. Well, I think it's great you let Margaret play inside. It's a hot one out there. I was thinking of going over to Cracker Barrel because they've got such great air conditioning. Okay, Dorothy. Look forward to seeing you. You betcha. Bye now. I'm sorry, but Jimmy is unavailable at the moment. If you'd like to leave a message, Mr. Ermin Trout. Mike. I, I hear Cracker Barrel has excellent air. <laughs> this one really don't want to talk about Cracker Barrel. You the only one on this line? Yeah, only me. What's up? You free for breakfast tomorrow? Sometime in the next 10 to 15 minutes, a guy in an old green Chevy Blazer is going to pull into that parking lot. He'll take a knapsack and he'll go inside. Let me know what he does with it. You're going to do the job or not? Fine, I'll do the job. <laughs> you charmed me into it. <laughs> That's a nice shot. Jimmy really helping out Mike. Mike really doesn't know anyone else, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Um, maybe get up to ask a question? Or is he gonna do the coffee thing again? <laughs> More sugar. There you go. Just Have a great day. Keep going. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, what's he gonna do now? He's gonna go sit closer. It's a drop, maybe, huh? Yeah. He leaves it. It's money for, uh, what's his face, Gus? Oh, he's behind them. He just keeps sipping his horrible coffee. Oh my god. The guy's gonna leave and he's gonna pick up the bag right when he leaves. Watch. Straight to the door. Nothing? Oh, they know he's being watched. Go check the booth. Oh, maybe you might be right. That... It's <laughs> not... Oh my god. <laughs> hey, that's a way to do it, though. Can I help you? Oh my uh. god. Uh, my watch, uh, allow me. Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, no. Thanks. You take care. Where on the floor? Under his seat, between his legs. Nobody touched it. So, what's our next move, huh? I mean, I cleared my morning. What, we're not gonna do like, uh, tail him to a new location? Or, I mean, we gotta sit on him at least. I love that Jimmy's like up for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a mystery. Like, Gus ain't stupid. Yeah, but like the guy, there's like code for someone's watching you. Oh, this dude. He's got the tracker. Can't you just come inside? He's gonna tell Kim? I have some information, but I don't want to get in trouble. Trouble with Jimmy? No. HHM, if I tell you what I heard and not Jimmy directly, like, like we have a buffer, then legally I'm safe? Ernie, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Poor man. Ernie, He's so scared. Jimmy, can I have a moment? Excuse me, sir. Um, Hello, I can't, give me a dollar. Give you a dollar. Yeah, just hand me a dollar. Okay. Come on. Oh, All I got's a 20. Man. Fine, whatever. All right. I'm your lawyer now. Jimmy, what did you say to Chuck? Oh, he thought his brain wasn't working because of the Mesa Verde of it. And so I kind of told him that he was right about everything. But it doesn't matter what he says. It doesn't matter who he tells because it's my word against his. Jimmy, there's a tape. What? There is a tape recording of you talking to Chuck. He said Chuck has a tape recorder wrapped in a space blanket in his desk drawer. Ernie was putting new batteries in it for Chuck and the tape rolled for a few seconds and he heard you. He taped me. That's Chuck for you. 
What a mess. I'm gonna have to do some research. He made that tape for a reason, and we just have to figure out why. Yeah, because we still don't know what, what the angle is. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Francesca. You were great today. You too. Those folks love you. Who doesn't? Mm -hmm. And that's U.S. versus McKeever? Right. No, it makes sense. She's already doing research, probably. Do you think the plan is to have him break in to get the tape? Maybe. You went to him worried for his mental health. You said the things you did to make him feel better, which mitigates the admission of guilt at the very least. Throw doubt the boys on the tape is even yours. If Chuck has a plan for this tape, I don't know what it is. At this point, all we can do is wait for his move, then act accordingly. You okay? Kim, I'm good. He's doing it the way Chuck told yeah, him. It's driving me I crazy. I noticed that since he started. Sh yank it. I think he's gonna yank the last piece. That's not good. <laughs> he fucked it up too. He yeah. yanked it. <laughs> <laughs> what did he see? What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's still a mystery. <laughs> Kinda. What's he doing? Whose house is that? I have no idea. They had him go through the back on purpose, no? You think? This has been going on for eight days now, and really, no indication that it's going to work. It will work. My brother broke the law. We can't just sit back and do nothing. I'm not talking about doing nothing. I just want to Move on. free up our minds. Jimmy will most likely break in while he thinks I'm sleeping. I mean, I wouldn't put anything past him. You really think he's going to do that? I do, indeed. I know my brother. I thought I heard a car in the background. He came straight. I swear to God, Chuck! Oh, Jimmy! Jimmy! You take me? No wonder Rebecca left you! It oh. took her so long! Here we go! Oh my God. For this, you destroyed our family? Are you happy now? For what? For nothing! How'd you make copies, huh, Chuck? Huh? You tell me or I'll burn this whole goddamn house to the ground! Jimmy! Jimmy! That's enough! Howard, you were a witness to what happened here? I was. And you? Wow. I'm a witness. Oh, I knew they were going to leave us there. I'm fucking pissed. Chuck's such a little bitch. <laughs> I just want to punch him. I'd get in trouble. Shit. I know you'd get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> He's like so fast. <laughs> he knew that he was going to break in. Yeah. That was the plan this whole time was to use Ernie as the tool to have. Exactly. Jimmy break in and the purpose of the private investigator was just to, to be have a witness. a witness or to catch him in the act or mm -hmm. whatever. Damn it. Jimmy fell. He fell. He fell right in the trap. Yeah. I'm disappointed in him. But at the same time, I'm so fucking pissed at Chuck. That's. He went that far to try and get this to happen. I feel like this, that's still illegal, though, like baiting someone to do something like that, you think? Does this mean that, does this, what he told Ernie, is that garbage? Yeah, I think so. I think he was okay. just trying to scare Ernie. Because I feel like that would be another level of crappy if, if Ernie, Ernie goes down as well. Yeah. Um... Well, if it is, uh -huh. if he does get in trouble, that'd be extremely fucked up. Yeah. And I'd hate Chuck. 
even more than I do at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. You know, I, it's easy. I feel like it's easy for me to like have my opinion to be the way that I feel because I, I'm not a lawyer, so I don't, you know, I don't take an oath and it's not, yeah. um, it's not my life, but I don't know. I just feel like there's a certain level of doing things that for me, like I just wouldn't get into that. I would yeah. just say like, Jimmy, like karma's going to end up getting you. Yeah, that's like, what I would Do you get what done. I mean? It's exactly. like, you know, it's it's Chuck is in the right to feel betrayed and to, like, distance himself and to lock Jimmy out and to do all of these things. Yeah. But, like, from my point of view, I would just do that and just knowing that eventually something would happen. But doing all of these yeah, steps, that's like it just feels Such bad. a snake move. Um. Yeah, for me, I think I would have just waited for Jimmy to do something or maybe find out some other way. Right. And like eventually he'll get fucked. Yeah. But the way Chuck did it was super fucking shady. Not just because of what he's doing, but he also like put fear into Ernie's like yeah. head. And poor Ernie, he has like he was having a hard time dealing with it. You could see it. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> um Oh, hold on. I'm trying to see. I want to make sure. Okay, so on a side note, I do find it interesting how Kim keeps surprising me in the way that she's handling things. Um, because I thought that she was going to, I don't know, like get cold feet or get really upset about what happened and try and back away from this whole situation. Yeah. Um, especially because it is including her one case. Mm-hmm. Um, but instead, she actually kind of, like, dove in. She, well, one, I guess she wanted to tell Jimmy what happened. And she's actually the one that did the give me a dollar. Oh, yeah. You know? Like, which yeah, yeah, is what yeah. he does later on. So, yeah, so I just found that interesting that that whole, like, give me a dollar, now I'm your lawyer confidentiality thing. You know, Kim is the one that did this. And essentially made herself his lawyer yeah um so i thought that was i don't know that was just really surprising for me um because whatever ends up happening at this point it's gonna end up kim is gonna represent jimmy you think she's gonna go full in and actually represent him now that he's actually in trouble for it well i don't think she has a choice now Hmm. i think well she is his lawyer and She's, I don't see her backing down from, regardless of, like, what happens now. Do you I didn't know what I mean? think about that, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's, it's too deep. And she does have feelings for Jimmy. Um, and so I don't see her, I see her fighting this hard because... She's kind of in that middle, like, gray area mm-hmm. where she can see Chuck's side, right? Yeah. But she can see why Jimmy did these things, and right. she has feelings for Jimmy. And yeah. I think she might not feel like that is the best way for him to go down, so I don't think she will let him go down. Right. Not only that, but she might feel weird about the way Chuck did things. That kind of yeah. gives her some purpose to, like, pursue. She was saying this, yeah. that... He was doing this because Jimmy did this or made these confessions because um, he was under the impression that Chuck was like under emotional like distress. Yeah. Um, And then you could argue the tape and all of this. I have a feeling that there is still a good case here to be made. Like you said, I don't know if manipulation can be used, but... I don't know. I feel like there's stuff there and it's just going to get worse. It's going to make this whole situation between Chuck and Jimmy a lot more like toxic and negative. Yeah. I wonder though what happens because she is, she is technically representing Jimmy, but the whole reason they're even in this mess is because of her other client that she got through what Jimmy did. Yeah. And I wonder if that is going to be a, like a legal issue. Like 
Wait, is that conflict of interest or is that like not? Is applied? it conflict of interest the fact that she's dating Jimmy? I don't know. There's Do you, a whole like right? intertwining of like the yeah, case, actually, yeah. their job, their relationship. Their, yeah. Yes, exactly. Hmm. I'm sure our legal people in the comments will <laughs> we'll let us know what's going on with that. Yeah. Without okay. spoilers, of course. Okay, so that's what Jimmy is doing. And then the other part of it was Mike. Mm -hmm. They See, did I, it again with this episode. I know. They fucking <laughs> dragged everything down and like didn't give us an answer, but still like mm -hmm. there's things happening here. Yes. And see, I had a feeling it was some kind of test from the beginning, right? And it looks like it is because they literally led him to that cell phone. But like in the middle of nowhere, I'm guessing they were trying to see how far he goes to like investigate things mm -hmm. because they probably need someone with those kind of skills. Mm -hmm. They're like, if he's this good, we need him. Where do you think they heard about him, though? I think that's my biggest like, I think question is Nacho somehow. You think? Yeah. Gus. The guy. How is Nacho connected to Gus? He's not because he works for Salt. Mike. Yeah, right? Yeah. He's got people that are connected to Gus, maybe. Maybe. That's a big mystery. I don't know. But that is where the beginning starts with, most likely, with Mike working with Gus. I knew Gus was going to show up at some point during this show. You did? Yeah. Oh, like, I've seen I... pictures online before even wanting to watch this show. Oh. Literally just, like, a picture of him. Yeah. Um, but I did not think that it was going to be this early in the show, like, season three. Mm. Well, it feels a lot earlier because we were blowing past this show. Yeah. Yeah, because they still have a lot of ground to cover. And so yeah, he's gonna this whole be season, then four and five. <sighs> Can't wait to see what happens with that, though. Yeah. Because Gus is a fucking genius, and he's evil as shit. And Mike is going to get a whole lot more work. Yeah. At least he'll have money, though. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> um, I think we covered everything. Oh, but sorry. Just to go back to the Jimmy and Chuck thing, I, I feel so bad for... I feel so bad for Jimmy in that situation, because you can see his... How betrayed he Yes, is. like the betrayal. He's yeah. devastated that this is where their relationship is. Um, you could tell he was on, like, really hurt. He bashed down the door. I mean, obviously, like, he's in charge of his actions. But yeah. I just feel like he couldn't comprehend what he just heard. Mm -hmm. um, and is it really worth it in the end for their relationship? I mean, I guess you could argue that. Maybe the law is more important to Chuck than his brother. Mm, I think but... so. <laughs> if he's willing to do all of this to take his brother down, yes, the law is more important to him. <laughs> but I, yeah, I feel, I feel, I feel bad that that ending scene and they're just staring at each other. Can't wait for the next episode to see what happens. Me too. But yeah, that's all I have. Yeah, same here. I, don't, I feel like I rambled for it. <laughs> okay, well, if you if any of you have anything to add, um, any explaining of the things we don't fully understand about the law, uh, please drop it down in the comments if you can, so we can just like dissect it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just let us know in the comments. Uh, make sure you like our video, subscribe to our channel, turn on the notifications, and we'll see you all next time. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>